What's up guys, Unicube here. Today we're gonna learn the slash algorithm. The slash algorithm is another dot case, which means you have no edges uh, flipped correctly. And for the slash algorithm you have two corners solved, so you have uh, a big slash. You have two 2x1 um, two blocks, one on the left and one in the back, and two edges which are facing to the front and to the right. It's pretty easy to recognize because if you see three yellow pieces on the top which are in one big line, you know it, it's this case. The first algorithm goes like this. R U R prime U R prime F R F prime U2 R prime F R F prime. At first it might seem like a very difficult algorithm, but it's not that hard. You start with an R U R prime U, like you would with the soon, but then you stop and you start with a sledgehammer. You do a U2 with your left. Uh, hand and then you do another sledgehammer and the algorithm is solved. The first algorithm a little faster. I noticed you can also perform the first algorithm with a regrip um, and it would be a lot faster after the regrip but I don't know if it's faster in total. So you start with the R U R prime U and then you regrip, you do a sledgehammer, you do sledgehammer. So a little more quickly that would be the second algorithm goes like this F prime R U2 small r prime U F2 U prime small r U2 R prime F. I quite like the second algorithm because it's basically a mirror. You start with an F prime R U2 small r prime U F and then you do a, another, you do the mirror basically, you start with an F, you do a U prime R, U2, R prime F. This means that to set up the OLL case you just need to use the same algorithm. You start with an F prime U, R, uh, U2, small R prime, U, F2, U prime, small R, U2, R prime F. And then you set up the case. The second algorithm can be performed like this. You push up the front layer with your right thumb, you do an R, so like this. You do a U2 with your left thing, index finger, you grab the cube, you do a small R prime, you push uh, the top layer one time with your left index finger and then you do an F2, you do a U prime, small R, because you keep holding it like this. You do a U2 R prime F. The second algorithm a little faster. I think the question you need to ask yourself when you decide to choose which algorithm you're going to choose for this case is whether you want an algorithm that is easy to remember, in which case you choose the first algorithm, or whether you want an algorithm which can become muscle memory and can be performed without thinking, in which case you would choose the second one. I had already learned the first algorithm uh, a few days before making this video but now that I saw the second algorithm I think I'm gonna choose that one because I prefer algorithms which become muscle memory very easily because you don't need to think about how to perform the algorithm before you do it, it just uh, you just do it automatically. Uh, with the Zamboni algorithm and the runway algorithm I always have to uh, think half a second about how I'm gonna perform the algorithm while with this one I think if I choose the second algorithm it will I will do it automatically um, I don't know if it's just because I need practice but for now I'm gonna choose the second one but I might change my mind later the links to watch a step-by-step -step execution of the algorithms are in the description.